The taxi test actually started the day before Phantom Eye even got to the runway, when it made its way from the hangar to the gas station where it was fueled with 1,900 pounds of liquid hydrogen. It's about a 12-hour process to get all that done and get the fuel system conditioned and ready to go. For taxi, long before sunrise and before the winds of California's high desert picked up and had a chance of canceling the test, Phantom Eye, with its two hydrogen tanks topped off, was towed to runway 15 to begin a test more than three years in the making. It's very unique, hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines uh, carrying uh, almost 2,000 pounds of cryogenic hydrogen stored at very cold temperature. A uh, very historic moment. Sandwiched between the morning moon and the morning sun, Phantom Eye mechanics and engineers prepared the unmanned system for its place in the history books. You know, I got to believe I'm going to look back at this and, and just like the Condor was part of Boeing history, you know, the first autonomous UAV, this vehicle will be kind of in that same, uh, have that same place in history as being a, one of the first hydrogen powered vehicles. And, uh, check the language, call and clear. The control room was ready, and on the lake bed, so was Phantom Eye as one of its 150 horsepower engines came to life, followed 15 minutes later by the second engine. The 16-foot diameter propellers were soon cranking at nearly 700 RPM. Phantom Eye doesn't have standard landing gear. Instead, the UAS, with its 150-foot wingspan, rides in the cradle of a unique cart system that Phantom Eye will detach from when it actually takes off. For the taxi test, the cart and Phantom Eye moving autonomously using Boeing's command and control system smoothly taxied at 30 knots for more than 4,000 feet. We were pretty confident the test team was going to be able to handle anything that would happen out here. Uh, it's still just a little bit nerve-wracking the first time a vehicle like this moves under its own power. The test lasted less than two minutes, but it gave Boeing engineers plenty of data to analyze. So it's huge to capture the data that we did today. Uh, to allow the team to evaluate it so we can fine-tune the, the models, understand if the software uh, is correct, and understand how the propulsion system is going to react as it moves forward. The Phantom Eye team will conduct additional taxi tests, including a high-speed test at 40 knots, ending all testing required for first flight.